And welcome back to The Factor on Censored. Two Lululemon employees in Georgia have been fired. This is after confronting a group of thieves at their store. Take a look at this. No, no, seriously, get, get out. Two Lululemon employees say they were fired for calling the police during a robbery, but Lululemon says that's not the case, insisting they broke company policy by following the suspects. The company has a zero tolerance policy for chasing or physically engaging with a suspect during a robbery. The three criminals were eventually caught, but does this incident send a message to other people with sticky fingers looking to hit up businesses? Let's talk about it. Joining us now here on The Factor on Censor, Constable from Fort Bend County, Nabil Shike and Waller County Constable Herschel Smith. Glad to have you all both here on the Factor on Censor. When people see companies say, don't approach, don't do anything with the shoplifters other than maybe call the police mm -hmm. afterwards, does that send the wrong message of course to does. those who may be out in the public looking to take advantage? Mm -hmm. Of course it does. All it does is perpetuate the problem. As long as, you know, her, uh, uh, City of Houston have different rules. Harris County got different rules as well. And uh, I worked uh, Walmart, I worked Kroger's, I worked ATB. Working those stores was a challenge because even when we caught different people stealing, they, they let them go. If it wasn't $50 over what they were supposed to, uh, uh, you know, 50, anything under uh, $100, mm -hmm. they will release the person. No, releasing mean they will they not, not file a would, police report. They would they would file they would file they, they would give them a ticket, but they would let them go, and then the next time that they catch them, then they get a they get that they get another buy because if they, they if it comes up in our system that they got caught, then they they will go to jail the second time because it, it would enhance the, the crime. Constable Shike, do you think this is causing people to? to continue to shoplift. And we've seen many of the videos around the country where individuals will walk into a store and they'll walk out as a gang or they'll walk out with a bunch of stuff knowing that these employees cannot touch them. If they do, they will be terminated. Yeah, you know, I think uh, there's a lot of factors that contribute to what we're seeing a lot when mm -hmm. it comes to the shoplifting. Um, I think COVID did play a little bit of a part. You know, you have a, a rise in a lot of social media where everybody's recording everything. And yeah. People wanting to do TikTok challenges and, you know, kids just wanting to be kids. Um, but I do think, like Constable Smith was saying, um, it does send a wrong message. Uh, I've worked um, a Walmart personally before. I've uh, had to engage with the shoplifter. Uh, that's pulled out a machete. So I understand oh, what? a machete, yeah. Oh you God. know, uh, <laughs> while I was chasing him on the ground. Uh, oh my God. And actually a Walmart employee was the one that helped me uh, apprehend this gentleman. Uh -huh. um, but just like, you know, several of these businesses, they have uh, policies. A lot of them are scared of potential lawsuits or anything like that. If somebody's running and chasing somebody outside and they slip and fall and get hurt. Um, so I understand why the businesses do it. Um, but you have uh, the letter of the law, and then you have, uh, or the color of the law, and then you have the spirit of the law. Mm -hmm. And in this case, um, I think they should have, the, the business itself should have followed the spirit of the law, um, understanding that I believe this happened in Georgia. Georgia, I believe, is also an at-will state, so, you know, they were within their realms of possibly terminating these individuals. Uh, but I just think that they should have, you know, maybe utilized it and try to train them better, um, because just some people just you know, maybe didn't know the policy. And of course, we recently had in San Francisco where a transgender male went into a Walgreens and shoplift and the private security guard stopped him and then eventually shot and killed him. Now, Walgreens is dealing with a lawsuit, public pressure, and then the ugliness of the whole case. And, and you said you understand why some companies do it. Would that be enough for companies to say, look, just let them go? Because the CEO of Lululemon said, it's just stuff, it's just merchandise, and we're insured. Well, some, some, some stores are more lenient about that, but you know, all it does, it make it hard on consumers. 
the more people steal from the stores, the consumer pay the price. Mm -hmm. and when they see the price go up, they got to I realize. guess that's why they say it's just stuff. It's, it's so just nuts. stuff, right. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, I actually see people uh, will push a whole basket and pack it with nothing but meat and push it just out just like they mm -hmm. paid for it. You know? What would you tell small mom-and-pop businesses to do? Because they're the most vulnerable. If they get into trouble shooting and killing someone, a lawsuit could just Wipe put them out of business. Well, I think, uh, you know, that's kind of a, a tough question to ask, you know. Tell if, them to consult their attorney. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I would consult with an attorney, but uh, at the same time, do what you got to do to protect, you know, your business at the same time. All right. Constables, thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor.